This is a fully functional heart rate monitor. And the best part, you can build it yourself. It is built around an Arduino ESP8266 microcontroller and uses inexpensive, widely available components. It fits into a compact 3D printed case and displays your pulse in real time. The build is straightforward. All you need is a bit of soldering experience and access to a 3D printer. Everything is open source and the result is a small self-contained device, not just a breadboard setup. Whether you are a beginner looking for a hands-on project or a maker wanting something practical and polished, this one is for you. Here is a short side-by-side -side comparison between my do-it-yourself heart rate monitor and my Apple Watch. As you can see, the readings are almost identical, a clear indication that the do-it-yourself device is measuring correctly. This project was developed as a contribution to the One Hertz Challenge, a design contest hosted by Hackaday and DigiKey. The idea? Build something that operates at one hertz. So I thought, why not measuring something that naturally runs at about one hertz, the human heartbeat. This heart rate monitor does exactly that. It senses your pulse, calculates the frequency and displays it in hertz. This device uses an optical sensor that emits infrared light and detects how much of it is absorbed by the blood in your fingertip. With every heartbeat, the absorption changes slightly. This is what the sensor picks up. These variations are used to detect individual pulses and calculate the heart rate. Although the sensor is capable of measuring blood oxygen levels as well, that feature is not yet implemented in this version of the software. This is all you need to build the device. A D1 Mini 8266 microcontroller, a little OLED display which fits the pinout of the microcontroller and the MAX30102 heart rate sensor. The parts are inexpensive, widely available and require only minimal soldering. Apart from that, you'll need the 3D printed case to bring everything together in a compact unit. This 3D animation shows a full CAD model created in Fusion 360. The first part shown is the upper shell of the enclosure. It acts as the structural backbone, all other components are attached to it. The microcontroller module with the OLED display already soldered on sits precisely into this frame and is secured using a small crossbar. A heart rate sensor is mounted on the top side of the case held in a dedicated bracket and clamped firmly in place. Finally, the lower half of the enclosure seals the assembly. The complete Fusion 360 model is available in the GitHub repository alongside STL files for all printable parts. So you can customize, modify and print everything as needed. To keep the build as compact as possible, I didn't use the typical stackable headers often seen in Arduino projects. Instead, I connected the D1 Mini and the OLED display using two simple pin headers. To achieve the compact spacing, I added two plastic spacers to each pin. These spacers are taken from a regular pin header strip and stacked as shown here. It's a simple trick and it makes the assembly much flatter. The wiring of the device is straightforward. Although all pins between the D1 Mini and the display are connected, only four are actually used. Ground, 3.3 volts and the I2C lines SDA and SCL. The heart rate sensor is also connected to the I2C bus, but it's powered with 5 volts. The entire system is powered via the USB port of the D1 Mini. To connect the MAX30102 sensor module, I soldered a 4-wire connector to the back of the D1 Mini. 
This provides access to power and the I2C signals while keeping the front side free for the display. It's a simple and compact solution that helps keep the wiring tidy. Here you can see how the different components are assembled into the case. The D1 Mini with a display is screwed into the top frame using a holder bar. The sensor is inserted into its holder and connected to the microcontroller. Finally, the case is closed with the bottom shell. The result is a clean, compact and robust build ready to use. The heart of this project is its software, written in clean and modular C++. Whether you prefer the classic Arduino IDE or the more advanced Visual Studio code with Platform I.O., both are fully supported. The code is structured using two simple object-oriented classes, making it easy to understand and modify. This ensures that beginners can get started quickly, while experienced makers can easily extend and customize the software to their needs. As you can see, the sensor works reliably and responds clearly to each heartbeat. The frequency is displayed in hertz, typically close to 1 hertz, which corresponds to a heart rate of around 60 beats per minute. This simple and compact do-it-yourself device demonstrates that building your own functional electronics doesn't have to be complicated. All parts are inexpensive and easy to obtain, and the full documentation, software, and 3D files are freely available. If you are looking for a rewarding weekend project, this might be just the one. Thank you for watching, and happy making!